My name is Erika Kawanda. I grew up with two brothers. I'm the last born and the only daughter. Uh, both parents are alive. Uh, it was an amazing family to grow up in. And I work with Love and Hands as the marketing and partnerships officer. So Love and Hands, it's a social enterprise working here in Rwanda and Burundi. And we do trainings based on ABCD, asset-based community development, where we basically train people to use what they have so as they can uh, bring a transformation in their own lives. The difference between scarcity and abundant mindset comes within uh, the perspective of um, what you have and what you do not have. Because scarcity focuses on um, the lack of things, but on the abundant mindset there you focus on uh, what you already have and how you can make advantage of it to cover what you do not have. When you look at things and you be like, uh, I'm not enough. I cannot do anything, you know, that's a scarcity mindset. The family itself can show you that you, there's, no, there's no way out of that scarcity. Maybe you grew up in that same way, or maybe you get to see in the environment that that's how people are, and we can never get out of it. But when you have an abundant mindset, you try. Let me give an example like um, the community that we work with when they have a project that they're working on and they get to see that they're stuck with a certain skill that they do not have. They realize that they need someone who has to train them. They do not sit there and be like, we are not really skilled into this. We don't know how it's going to work. But for themselves, they just come up with that idea and be like, okay, there are people who are already skilled about this. How can we approach them? And within the community, funny enough, there are some people who are already skilled. There's one community which uh, already did that. They approached the person, she came, she trained them, and then they started doing it. So coming out of that scarcity mindset, it's knowing, yes, I do not have this, but how can I get it? Poverty is a huge concept. Poverty can be envisioned uh, physically in terms of finances, what you have, what you do not have. It could also be something that you can look at in the lens of perspective. When you look at even people who have things, at a certain point they might be poor mentally. Because when you have an abundant mindset, you get to know even though I don't have uh, the bigger things, there are some things I have which could help me build slowly and then at the end of the day I'll have the bigger things that I do not really have. When I went in the community, Love and Hands had been working for five years then. I met some of the people whom they trained among the first cohorts and then they started telling me their stories. They were like, who were... Uh, with these kind of women that could go door by door knocking, can we wash your clothes, you can give us some money, or maybe they get to find someone walking on the street and they're like, can you help me, give, it, give me like 500. So they started telling me that those are the people whom we were before. But then right after being trained by Love and Hands, we went into a group. We formed a team. We're like, uh, myself, I know weaving. Another one, I know how I can make baskets. I know how I can... They started bringing different various skills. So they were like, we started now working on a small scale. We started making shoes. And then at the end, now we started selling them within our community around us. And here we are now. <laughs> hanyuma so tuzagera bakagira kugira ababyeyi babo ibyo byanye no kurya ariko batakoze ariko kugeza isaha ugasanga ibyo ngibyo bigenewe bikemuka kubera ayo mahugurwa baba barafashe eh kugeza isaha ari tsinda mfite bimaze amezi atatu byaguze ngo ryumva ijana bavanye muri ayo mahugurwa babo kwiterateranya noneho mu gitondo kwa yabwaguye ingurube izindi umunane ibyo rero niba ikibwana kiruguri mu 2025 ndumba ko abantu bageze ku rwego bushimishije mu maro wa la vande hansi mbona ndabijanye namahugurwa baduhaye harabo tumaze kwikora hari naho tumaze kugera mu rugo dufite aho twageze dukora amatsinda yo bworozi no buhinze kandi ibi byose byadukeje imbere rero ikintu cyari cyarabuze mu buryo kugira ngo babakangure mu mutwe hanyuma no batangire ibikorwa ariko usanga bimeze neza iyo munsi wa none turabantu bamaze kwisobanukirwa no kugera ku rwego dutewe ishema nabo turi abandi bari ko twigera most of the time when we go in the communities we get to ask them what can you do and what are the skills that you have they get to bring different kinds of ideas and we're like it's okay try anything that you want because our part is not going to come in and be like there's no market for that so we let them try 
Because when they try and they fail, they get to know this thing doesn't work. Now we're going to go for this. And when they get to see something which really works, they get to invest all their effort. It's really satisfactory and amazing when you get to see some people's lives changing. You feel like, how can we do more? How can we go into a different community? How can we grow this kind of work? How can even other organizations get to know um, this approach? It's also challenging on a personal um, level where you get to remind yourself, I also need to be more abundant using what I have, my skills, what I already know how to do and uh, help others or bring an impact into the work that I'm doing and also the impact into the society that I live in. If something I'm offering can be transformative for someone else, then that's a win for me. So my hope is that we get to realize that we already have something to give. We already have something within our communities. My neighbor already has something to offer. And how can we bring it together? And how can we impact ourselves first and also the community that we live in? 